Maasai Mara is situated in southwest Kenya and is one of Africa's greatest wildlife reserves. Together with the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania, it forms Africa's most diverse, incredible and most spectacular ecosystems and possibly the world's top safari big game viewing ecosystem. Arguably the most iconic tribal group in all of Africa, the Maasai who populate vast areas of southern Kenya are the dominant ethnic group surrounding the Maasai Mara. This nomadic warrior tribe which once held vast areas of pre-colonial Kenya still retain many of their traditions as they live largely untouched by modern day civilization around Maasai Mara. The Maasai are known for their many unique cultural practices and traditions. Some of these originate from the nomadic way of life. They live in structures known as manyata, which are short dwellings, essentially huts, made of mud, cow dung and wood with a single entrance and small side windows. Clusters of these manyata huts, which form a village, are known as a Maasai boma. Several bomas can also join together to make a larger village. The Manyatas have windows so small that it can be very dark inside even on a sunny day. There's no piped water, electricity or gas. Morans are the warriors of the Maasai tribe. They are initiated into the status by rites of passage which are extremely important. Bordering the Maasai Mara game reserve is a Maasai community called Mara Rianda. The community has a primary school, the Mara Little Angels Academy. It was started by Maasai parents who saw a need to give their children a modern education. The schools lack a lot of infrastructure needed to provide kids a proper education system. Help Aid Africa assisted and managed to construct a fourth grade classroom. They also provided scholarships for over 40 exceptional students whose families would otherwise not be able to afford for them to complete the schooling. Oh yes, my name is Abbas Funguayo. Yes. So we want you all to work hard and study very hard so that you can become successful and come back to the community over here and help your own people. Amasio. Sawa sawa kabisa. Ah la kwanza kabisa ningependa tu kusema kupitia kazi ambayo au mtenda kazi ambayo tumefanywa na organization hii kwamba mwaka uliopita tulipata usaidizi ya darasa ambayo ni grade 4 uh, na tulifurahia sana kwa sababu wale wanafunzi wali, walikuwa wanamaliza darasa la tatu na hawakuwa na mali nyingine ya kuingia lakini kwa u, kwa unyenyekevu na ile kilia ambayo tumekuwa tumekuwa tukimlilia Mungu uh, organization hii ambayo ilipitia manyata pale juu wakatupatia darasa kando na hayo bado pia tunashukuru kwa sababu ya wanafunzi ambao ni 40 ambayo organization hiyo bado inawatufundishia au wanafunzi wapate shida yote wanasoma pia kama wengine kwa sababu hapa being and being uh, a community school uh, inamaanisha kwamba yaani wa, wa, wanafunzi wengi sana hapa kwa hii shule hawana ile yaani wa, wasizi wao wako chini kidogo kimaisha ama kima kirisiki wako chini sana lakini sasa ukipata tu saidisi kidogo unaona pia wameanza kukacha na pia kuingia level ya wengine. Tunashukuru sana. Na pia kwa wageni wake ambao wamekuwa kusaidiana, hayo yote tunasema tu Mungu aendelee kuonyeshia kudura zake na awapanulie mipaka. It is remarkable that this is such a rural and remote area but there is such a vibrant school over here. And uh, we want to uh, we want to promote and help your school over here uh, because we believe in education. We believe that education is what changes lives. Right. Yes. So whatever we can do, I think uh, you are very organized in what you need. You know, we have a lot of students over here. I came to Tajaribu to set up a computer lab here. Where you have a total here, we have your exposure. But I this is the future. Yeah. Your digital learning is the future. Okay. And these kids are very talented, I can tell you. Yeah. Very talented. Very talented. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we use their talent and put it to good use. Yeah. Okay? So if this is the age to do it. Yes. 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 Kama kuna kitu ambacho nilikuwa nataka kwanza hata kutia mkazo sana ni darasa la tano kwa sababu wale wanafunzi ambao walisaidia na hiyo darasa la nne na kampani hii bado ama yuko na hii ya Bans Mdo bado wakitoka tu pale kidogo 
uh, watahitaji wat, watahitaji kidogo tu watahitaji darasa la tano unaona tukitoka pale wanafunzi wale watakuwa stranded na watapata nada wata, wata pata na mali ya kuendelea kupata huduma ya masomo kwa hii shule sasa ninge ningeomba sana kama kutakuwa na uwezo kama wote tujengewe darasa la tano sababu kwa, kwa wakati huu huu ni muhula wa pili muhula wa tatu ambao tunaingia wakati wa mwezi wa tisa katikati tunamaliza muhula wa tatu Disemba na Disemba sasa inamaanisha tukitoka pale wanafunzi wanafaa progress to the next class so we are requesting if it is possible that we get another extra class and secondly we also have a problem in um, teachers payroll kuko na walimu wengi sana kwa sababu wanafunzi wamekuwa wengi na wanafunzi 216 na wanafunzi kwa walimu ambao tuko nao hapo idadi ya walimu ilipadi iko chini kwa nini ningependa kuomba tu kama bado pia kutakuwa na usaidizi uh, atusomeshe hata kama atulipie walimu wawili ama watatu na tutashukuru kwa sababu mzigo pia imekuwa kubwa sana na unaona pia hali ya maisha imekanda yes to appreciate uh, the help aid africa for what it has done and we are praying that for more for the for uh the welfare of these children sawa sawa yes. because even this baba is and what he does he's starting the heart of god you are not his sons are you his sons are you student no but because he has a good heart he wants you people to be responsible citizen in the nation of kenya and even in the, the world eh? as large mm -hmm. na hata wao ukifaidika ukikuwa engineer as you say i will become a doctor utaweza pia kuguza wengine it is not ending here akao ukipewa ukisaidiwa na wewe sasa unakuja mikono you are help you also help mm -hmm. it is through giving that you also receive amen mm -hmm. so anasaidia the help in africa ni kuona kila mtu amejitegemea you are able now to feed your family you are able to pay school fees for your families mm -hmm. si ndio na unakuwa responsible person na wewe ukisaidiwa na wewe ukuwe na mkono tayari ya kufanya nini kusaidia wengine labda hawatakuwa mejiweza na through that tunamaliza hata umaskini katika dunia even in our nation of Kenya Everyone I'm Dennis Leperes from Masemara that's in Kenya I want to thank Help Aid Africa for coming over to check me I am a wheelchair user that's starting from 2017 when i was working assisting my cousin selling his petrol station so at night some thugs came and attacked me because i had money so that's what happened then after that the good samaritan came here and i went to hospital so i stayed there for around two months then i went to nairobi because i went to tenek Bomet County mm -hmm. then I went to Nairobi I stayed there for around 3 weeks then I came back so I stayed there for around three weeks yes then I came back home came home I stayed for one year in 2018 around December I went to India mm -hmm. there I went to stay for around eight months mm -hmm. then I came back so that's when they realized that they could not be able to work again I expect that pay to assist me always if possible one of them is I am still staying in my parents house so if possible we can get food and assistance and anyway get a shit secondly I am still in school so I joined in school back in 2021 I completed my first year last week so if possible they can help me make clear school because I just reach school is just to pay for me school fees so I mean this if they can pay for me school fees that if they can also really provide for me with a job I will as well appreciate again as you know I am busy now so if possible they can pay for me with a job because I have any time that to make some repair for any kind of service uh, I have to travel around around 100 kilometers to get repair so if they can provide for me those service I will really appreciate so you will get don't give up in your life okay okay, okay you will be very successful
Thank you. Don't give up, man. This is just a challenge. Yes. Unajua you know, hiyo ni uh, mtihani ya Mungu hiyo. Hiyo mtihani ya Mungu. Don't give up, man. Wewe mm-hmm. utakuwa successful, okay? This is my guarantee to you. Don't mm-hmm. give up, okay? Tanga bus because he's a very good guy, he's a very positive person. He came over and I really Zana Dini touched me a lot. Uh, if I can get a computer, you know I am a health information student. He helped me with my studies. He helped me in a lot of ways, you know the world is now changing. It's now uh, it's now more advanced in technology so it will help me so many ways hello Ezekiel I'm a pass from Help Aid Africa can you tell me a little bit about yourself and this village where are we over here okay Uh, my name is Ezekiel Kisemei. I'm a Maasai man. And uh, here we are is Maasai Mara. We are near the Nash, Maasai National Game Reserve, just five kilometers from here. Okay. And uh, in this village, I am the head of the, I'm the first born of the chief. So the chief is the head of the village. But when my dad go down, they, they'll be an old man, I will take the responsibility. So I'm the boss of the village and I'm the one to take the responsibility for the whole village. Yeah. How do you know English so well? Uh, English I learned from the visitors okay. who came visit here. Okay. And uh, because uh, yearly or seasonal, the time of the tourists come here, we receive many, many tourists to come to see our wild animals and come and buy our attires and see how the Maasai culture is. Yes. So do you see wild animals around here at night also? Yeah, even during the, the day. Uh-huh. We what have kind me. of animals do you see around here in the village? Uh, we have the big the animals that you can see hyenas uh-huh. uh, during the night uh, lions elephants and giraffe okay yeah okay oh sincerely speaking help help aid africa without help aid africa including by abbas we can't do anything we can't do anything is the one doing everything financing clothing and our food during the uh, pandemic season uh, our time of deadly virus he had helped us a lot and a lot it is not abbas by himself it is all the people that support help aid africa to our True. donors yeah these are the people that, that that help this village yeah so can you be specific as to some of the things that help aid africa has assisted with the, your villagers over here uh fasting uh school fees for our children Where do the children go to school? Uh, they just go for 10 kilometers from here to school. They are going to school called Mara Angel Academy. Okay. And uh, the, the LPD Africa has taken 30 children. They are, they are going to sponsor everything. What happens if these children don't go to school? What do they do? Uh, they are going to look for cows and some of them they are going to do some things at home. No school at the head. So like cows like this, they take care of the cows that are moving around, they would be grazing the herd instead of going to school? Yes. So you had mentioned, uh, of Fish. course, we had provided also during the pandemic, we had provided food assistance. Yes. How many villages did this food assistance help? Uh, we wrote that before a proposal for Help Aid Africa, yes, yes. and I provide for five villages during the uh, deadly virus pandemic time. We, we provide food, but we are saying thank you so much for Help Aid Africa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this time we we came in when we brought some clothes for your uh, for your villagers. What do you think of that? Uh, we are so much very happy and happy so much because some of us we didn't take to wear some shorts, yeah. caps, yeah. and even shirts and t-shirts. Yeah. Then we are so much we are so we are very happy and happy. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. What is it that you would like to? Uh, what would you like? How else would you like us to assist you? For another another help. We know we are Maasai. Where we are polygamous people we married very many wives <laughs> so when you meet one man he has five wives or two wives and i have many children uh, and we are saying 
please and we, we can say help us to sponsor many children because we still have many and many. Please say thank you to our donors in Help Aid Africa. Uh, Help Aid Africa, we are somewhere. Thank you, our donors, and we would like to see you in the village again and again, not Abbas only. Yes. Even though, even you guys. Yes. Yeah, welcome. All and our donors yeah. are yeah. welcome to yeah. come, and yeah. they will get yeah. a very warm welcome yeah. to this wonderful village yeah. here in Masai Mara. Yeah. So this is where a house is. This is your typical hut. Chief's where house. Chief's house. Yes. This is where the chief lives. My dad house. Can you tell us how it is made and how many people live in there? Uh, here we have one house per lady. Okay. And the house is made by by lady. Okay. And uh, we actually use the sticks. The men cut from the forest and the lady brought from the backbone. Mm. But uh, uh, in the in the in the wall we use water, clay soil, and cow dung. Mm. Uh, they made only for seven days. Okay. In and seven days it is ready. Yes. And how many people live inside? Yeah, one lady. One lady. W one house per lady, but. Many children. Many children. So yes. in this house, how many children? The children almost seven. Seven children and one lady. Yes. Sawa sawa. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. Eh? Yes. 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 Uh, my dad has said that thank you so much for visiting us and for your help to do what you did for the video and also they still need help help because they have many children so they still help many many children how many okay how many children are in this village almost 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 100 100 children yeah in this old almost village. 8 and 9 people that are all just in this here yeah in this yeah. Here. yeah yeah okay. how many families are there Family so far, almost six families. Six, six families? Yes. Six people, families? The people that are polygamous, they can marry three to four wives. And they have many children. Okay. Yes. So six families with a hundred children. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Yeah. So you need more help with the school fees and everything? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, as a village or a, as a board of the village we are thinking for us something that can help the community if there's any other available place to support to uh, to add the kids for their support and also we have a plan of a library for supporting the uh, children in the community because in the community we have five schools surrounding the area. We have Little Angel Maya Ma, Ma United School. We have Marianda Boarding Primary School. And also we have the uh, call, uh, we have Mara Village and the other school called Awalata. And those are the schools that are surrounded the area in Marianda community. So when we get uh, those schools, we have over 300,000, 3,000 children. There, so when you cover the library, uh, when you build a bl the library, we have covered all the children. And also, you know, visited the Dennis home today. When we build the library, I think the Dennis will be employed there.